Hey guys, today we're gonna be messing with the brakes on Jet's junk here. Um, we'll probably teach you how to bleed brakes and uh, show you how to install them on this spider box. Uh, it's pretty Frankenstein right now, but uh, I'm very faithful that it'll be something beautiful afterwards. Okay guys, so we've already installed the brakes and everything. We don't have any fluid in them, as you can see. Um, but we ran into an issue where we are missing a bolt to um, go on the bracket. So we found this spare bolt, uh, part of a Harley Davidson, uh, I'm pretty sure a brake caliper. Uh, so we're gonna use this, but the threads are really dirty and uh, we're gonna have to clean them up. So we brought the metric tap and die set. Um, I'm not sure, but it'll, we're gonna clean up the threads. That's how we know. And I have a SAE one too. So let's get to it. Okay guys, so about 20 hours later, we finally uh, decided to get to work and finish it. As you can see, we found a bolt and we tapped it and dyed it. Uh, tap, tapped uh, the hole and dyed the, the nut or whatever, bolt, whatever. And it was askew because we only had one, one of these uh, spacers. So we decided to make our own spacer. It's very high tech. It's like futuristic and stuff. Very, very, very. And so, uh, we have some high-tech futuristic spacers as well right here. It's just that they're not together. But anyways, now we have to bleed the brakes and put in this dot three brake, brake fluid. So that should be about another hour or two. Maybe even five. So, we'll get you back when we're done with that. Okay guys, so right now, I have Jet pressing the brakes, and I'm not sure if you can see, but every time he presses the brakes, fluid, or bubble, air comes out through the reservoir. I don't have the bleeder open yet, but it will be here in a sec, once I get brake fluid throughout the whole system. You can see he's pressing it like an idiot. What we've done is we've done a gravity-fed system to where there won't be any air stuck in the lines. Um, Here's a reservoir, here's a master cylinder, and there's the brake caliper right there where the bleeder is. We don't have a, a hose to go back into the, uh, the dot three brake fluid down here, but uh, that's okay. Uh, we're gonna demonstrate what it should look like when you bleed your brakes. So uh, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make sure your reservoir never empties. You can see it's pretty full right there. And uh, this, this is the master cylinder, you're going to want to pump the piston five to six times and then hold it on that sixth time. And then once you do that, you want to open your bleeder screw by turning it to the left. Um, and we're going to demonstrate that. So you're going to watch me push the master cylinder and you're going to watch my friend here open the bleeder and close it after two seconds. So, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. And show them opening it. and close it. And then you release the pressure, wait 20 to 30 seconds to make sure your fluid drains back into the cylinder. And that's it. Hey guys, uh, so we got the brakes done. It took a, a lot of hours. Wow, there's that fool again. As you can see, it's almost dark now. Um, it was rewarding, let's put it that way. Yeah, call it that. Okay, well anyways. Just to prove that it does work, we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and push it, Jet. It does move back and forth. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and step on the brakes and show you that it doesn't move. The brake pedal. Or he's just really weak. Yeah, I suck my ass. It's dragging, you can tell. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, after a couple of test runs with the tower mower, trying to pull it. Hey, that has brakes on. Calm down. Hey, trying to pull it, we uh, <laughs> we know that it, it does work. Now, next project is going to be mounting the engine and going ahead and mounting the jack shaft for the torque converter. Should be a fun little project. Oh, and also mounting the gas tank since it's not connected. Anyways, that's all for today, guys. Um, 
If you like the video, go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to see more content, subscribe. If you have any comments, like you think my... Like you think... <laughs> like you think my, my channel sucks, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Uh, but uh, I think that's all right, Jet. Mm, yeah, I gotta go get my phone because your dog's about to eat it. Okay. Well, uh, until next time, guys. Thanks.